Good evening, folks. This is Deb Delapana, and this is your short take for tonight. This is uh, Thursday, Thursday, the 25th of August. So, you know, let me just say that I am in the middle of making a bigger video, uh, which will talk about why the GOP can no longer win legitimate elections. But, you know, at any one time, I have four browsers up, and all of that stuff is spread all over four browsers. So I'm in the process of pulling that all together. And it will probably be recorded tonight and posted sometime tomorrow. So that is coming. Um, I am not spoofing you. It will be here. Uh, but in the meantime, I did what I usually do when I get home from work, you know, and I come in and I make my dinner and I move into my, my room. And I start reading. I read newspapers. You know, I subscribe to about eight or nine different newspapers, along with Rolling Stone and the Daily Beast and a few other things. And I, I start looking at the news. I look at the news in the morning and I look at the news when I get home. So tonight, what I found out there just blew my fucking mind. And I just had to make this video. So apparently... <laughs> The parents in the state of Missouri want an alternative to suspension uh, when their children misbehave in school. So this is what one town in Missouri came up with. I'm sharing this here with you so you can see it for yourself. Missouri School District to allow paddling after parents wanted an alternative to suspension. So they are going to allow teachers to paddle their children. Now, you do have to opt in. I, I get that part of it. Uh, you have to opt in for that to happen. Um, but, you know, this is the commentary from the, uh, the, the school district superintendent. The complaints that we have heard from some of our parents is that they don't want their students suspended. They want another option. And so this was just another option that we could use before we get to the point of suspension. So this isn't even going to replace suspension. We're just going to paddle the shit out of them. And then, you know, if that doesn't work, we'll suspend them anyway. Now, parents have to opt in. You know, I get that. And I'm going to, you know, kill this article now. This is, uh, this is, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I will make sure that this article is in the, um, is in the body of the video. Uh, but let me just say this, okay? I have heard for, you know, a couple of years now, you know, just how bad masks have been for children. It's developmentally unsound, but I guess paddling a kid isn't. So where are they going to paddle them? Are they going to pull their pants down and paddle their butts? Or are they going to whack their hands? Because, you know, when I went to Catholic school as a very young child, uh, I went home one day after... I believe I questioned something about the Lord during religion class. And I went home one day with big red welts in my hand because it was the habit of the nuns to give you the rat hand. That's what they called it, where they would slap your hand with a ruler. And I remember my mother marching up to the school the next morning and telling the, uh, the mother superior, that's what we called her, that she did not hit her children and there was no way that the school was going to be allowed to do so under any circumstance. She chose the nonviolent punishment over paddling. You know what, folks? Missouri is a very strong red state. And I hate to say it, it's the home of Josh Hawley and a few other fucking losers. And it would only seem fitting to me that they could not come up with something else like, oh, I don't know. Maybe they don't get to do something in class that other kids get to do. Maybe that's their punishment. 
instead of paddling. Maybe they're required to do a day of community service on the weekend in punishment. Something constructive, something that might benefit the community, something that might teach them something. Because paddling a child doesn't teach you a fucking thing. And any parent who would opt in to that, I don't ever want to hear anybody on the right ever question anybody's parenting skills of anybody on the left if they're opting in and buying into that shit. I would never allow a school district to make that decision and opt into it to have people who are teachers paddle children. I want everyone to just fucking think about that for a minute. Let that sink the fuck in. Could we be any more on the path to the dark ages again? What the fuck is wrong with this country that people don't find this repugnant? I know what's wrong with the right, and I'm not even going to get into that right here. But let me just tell you this. The notion that Corporal punishment teaches your child anything is bullshit. And the idea that a teacher or any administrator of any school should have the right to hit a child for misbehaving is disgusting. You know, if you as a parent want to do that, I can't stop you. That's your right as a parent. But there's something intrinsically wrong in this nation when parents opt into that over suspension. What's the matter? You don't want your kids around too much? Busy? Have to work? Can't have suspensions. So you're going to opt into hitting your child, letting your child be hit by someone they don't even know really, okay? And there is something wrong collectively with Americans who buy into that. There are other things you can do to teach a child a lesson. That is not the ideal solution. And yet, you know, in the unimaginative red states of America, they don't seem to have a whole hell of a lot of imagination, do they? There's something wrong here, folks. There's something really wrong here. And if you think now that this take hold, takes hold in one district of Missouri, it won't take hold in other districts in Missouri or across the nation, you may want to think again. Because this is America as we currently know it. And it is not the America that I ever remembered as a child. I'll talk to you all later.